Hey, what's happening, YouTube? What is going on, guys? Thank you for tuning into Rules for Rebels. Uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit about the new Coinbase Commerce uh, product that just came out. I believe it was yesterday. And uh, before we get into that, there's actually a lot of really exciting stuff happening in the payment or merchant processing space going on right now, uh, both in the more traditional payment space as well as in involving cryptocurrencies. So, um, you know, eBay and PayPal used to be the same company. A couple years ago, they split up. As part of their split up, their agreement was that PayPal could not come out with their own auction site or their own like merchant site, and eBay could not come out with their own payment processor. Well, I believe that agreement lasted a year or two, and it's now over. So now, if PayPal wanted to, they could try to compete with eBay with you know some type of auction platform, and if eBay wanted to, they could compete with PayPal on the payment front. So that's exactly what eBay is actually going to be doing, I believe, if not sooner, by Q3 of 2018. Uh, eBay has either partnered with a company or started their own company called Aiden Payments, and that's going to be kind of the new payment processor for eBay. You still will be able to use PayPal, uh, but eBay will have their own payment processor, and I imagine they'll, they'll slowly try to kind of cut PayPal out. Um, so that's kind of interesting. We also have LightPay. Um, let's see. I think this is, okay. So uh, let there be light. Litecoin's game changer. So the Litecoin Foundation, I believe it is, has come out with their own payment processor. It's going to allow merchants to accept Litecoin. Uh, they can immediately transfer it into dollars so they're not subject to the volatility and they'll only be a 1% uh, processing fee, which most merchants are probably paying about 2.99%. Uh, so it's going to save them a couple percent on their processing. And I believe they're also going to be rolling out a Litecoin debit card. Uh, so a lot of exciting stuff happening in the payment space. So right now what you're looking at is Coinbase Commerce. Coinbase Commerce is uh, essentially a way that merchants are going to be able to accept uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bcash uh, for payments. Now, uh, you may be asking yourself, like, well, you know, BitPay has been around for a while. People have been able to use that. And uh, in back in the day, and I, I think I think uh, Coinbase stopped accepting new customers for this service. But Coinbase in the past also had their own kind of cryptocurrency merchant processing thing. Uh, this is very new. I, I found one site where I actually saw it in action, so I'll take you guys through a purchase before I let you go today. Uh, but one thing I, I wanted to talk about is kind of how does this differ from like BitPay and those things. And from what I can tell, um, you know, in the past with BitPay or with Coinbase's merchant processing service, essentially there was still a third party. There was still a middleman in between you and your customer. And in some senses, that's the whole point of what cryptocurrency is all about, is to get that middleman out of those transactions. So I'm not positive about this, but what it seems like to me is here, Coinbase isn't really providing us a merchant processing service so much as they're providing us a, a software or a payment gateway, for lack of a better word. And why I say that is because Coinbase Commerce is not integrated directly into your Coinbase account. It's not integrated directly into your Coinbase wallet. So what I wonder about like in terms of like money transmitter guidelines and in terms of like prohibited items that you're allowed to sell and things like that, you know, a Stripe, a PayPal, uh, a First Data, these merchant processors have certain categories that are restricted. So, okay, we're not going to allow you to take payments for, you know, selling bongs or we're not going to allow you to take payments for consulting services. There's certain industries that are considered quote unquote high risk that are, are really difficult to get merchant processing for. You may pay higher rates. Now, what it seems to me like it is basically you have your own wallet. This money's going to your own wallet. Coinbase is kind of just providing sort of a payment gateway or an interface. So I'm thinking Coinbase may not have to issue 1099s at the end of the year like a Stripe or a PayPal would because they're not actually taking the payment and passing it along to you. Uh, from what I can gather, they're essentially just providing kind of a, a platform that will link your uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum wallets to uh say a shopify store and shopify is actually one of their first partners so um let me show you guys kind of what this looks like in an actual shop so this isn't my store i have no affiliation to this store um i just saw this on reddit um somebody had posted their store and i went through a checkout process last night to see what it would be like so we're gonna buy this like ethereum nintendo shirt for 24.99 we're gonna get it in black and white size small we're gonna click add to cart now uh, we initially don't see the option here, but if we consider continue to check out, uh, let's see, we'll say our phone number is 312-387-387-7474. Our name is Billy Bob Thornton. 
uh, one, two, three, Main Street. We'll, okay, we'll just pick one of the first ones that pops up there. And we'll continue to shipping. Okay, and we're going to choose the free shipping option. We're going to continue to payment. And we have a choice of credit card, right? We have a choice of PayPal. We have a choice of BitPay, which is one of the ones I talked about earlier. And that's basically a merchant process, processor that's going to immediately convert the Bitcoin um, into U.S. dollars for the merchant. But then we have this option here for Coinbase Commerce. Um, and we see Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. I'm not sure if, if this seller did this. Or if Coinbase does this, but I think it's interesting Bitcoin Cash isn't show. Oh, you know what it is? I think as a seller, you can decide which cryptocurrencies you want to accept. So here's a guy who, who doesn't want to accept Bcash. Um, I would probably be in the same boat myself. So we're going to click uh, Coinbase Commerce. Uh, after clicking Complete Order, you will be redirected to Coinbase Commerce to complete your purchase securely. Billing address, same as shipping address. We'll click Complete the Order. Okay, now we get to choose. Okay, so they are accepting all. Now we get to choose whether we want to pay in Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Litecoin. We'll choose Ethereum. And here they give me an Ethereum address. Uh, I don't want my MetaMask popping up. Um, so our, our, our checkout total is $24.99. If we were using Coinbase or you know our Trezor wallet, we would just simply copy this. If we were on a mobile or if I have a, a wallet on my a mobile device and I wanted to scan a QR code, I could also pull up the QR code and you know I'm sure for anybody who's made a payment online with cryptocurrency before you've seen this timer so you have like 14 minutes to send your payment in and then normally if you don't refresh the page this page will like recognize when your Ethereum payment has hit their wallet and then it'll close out and give you your order confirmation number and everything else but this is basically what it's going to look like uh, from the customer end of things. One thing that I have not seen is what this is actually going to look like from the uh, merchant's end of things. So we'll take a look here. I think we can do a, uh, a demo, but secure and trusted, designed and built by Coinbase, uh, global, run your business from anywhere in the world and get access to a global customer base uh, with borderless digital payments. Um, and one other cool thing about this, a lot of times when Coinbase rolls out services, because of like money transmitter laws and AML policies and things like that, uh, they can only roll it out to U.S. customers. Again, I think this might be because of how it's structured, because everything's going into your own wallet and Coinbase is at no point actually touching the payment. They're just kind of facilitating the software that takes the payment. I think they don't really have to follow any of those policies from what I can guess. And I think that's why it's open to anybody in the world. Um, Coinbase Commerce seamlessly integrates with Shopify to make accepting cryptocurrencies easier than ever. Simply connect your Coinbase Commerce account and start accepting cryptocurrency payments. I'm guessing in the coming months, if this turns out to be a success, we'll probably see it hit like Etsy, uh, maybe Big Commerce, Volusion, some other platforms like that, uh, maybe WooCommerce as well. Uh, multiple currencies, easily customizable. Um, and then, so I guess this will be what your kind of dashboard on the back end looks like. So you'll have a balance, you'll have your dashboard, balances, you'll be able to see payments, checkouts, uh, settings, as I imagine, where, you, where you'll do like the API to connect to. Uh, connect to Shopify. And if we go to the FAQ here, um, do I need two factor? Okay. So, so see, this is why it looks like you have your own wallet. Use two factor authentication. You're going to have your own backup seed phrase. Um, how do I collect my customer's addresses at this time? This op the option to collect address information is not available. If you'd like to see this or other features in the future, please let us know. So Shopify is going to be the one who's going to collect the customer's number. So basically, what it seems to me like is this is like a wallet service um, that's connected to your Shopify store. So I imagine when somebody goes through your Shopify store and makes a, a checkout, Shopify is going to recognize whether that um, Ethereum address, in my example, actually received the payment. They'll let you know that the customer paid and that it's safe to ship the product. I'm not sure from like a chargeback or dispute or return thing if Coinbase somehow has a way to get in the middle and mediate disputes, but I'm guessing not. It seems to be more like a traditional cryptocurrency payment with no chargebacks. Um, here's how many confirmations are required. Ethereum 8, Bitcoin 1, Bitcoin Cash 1, Litecoin 2. Uh, how does my payment button work? If you've embedded the payment button and are getting an error, then most likely you'll need to whitelist your domain within settings. Uh, why does the crypto... Okay, so why doesn't cryptocurrency in my Coinbase Commerce account show up in my Coinbase account? Uh, Coinbase Commerce accounts are completely separate from Coinbase accounts. Instead of holding cryptocurrency on your behalf, we provide a service that makes it easier to accept cryptocurrency. 
Coinbase Commerce does not have access to your cryptocurrency or your private keys. So uh, I guess from that perspective, it, it does sound like this is strictly a wallet. Coinbase is not going to get in the middle and mediate disputes, which uh, in my opinion is a positive thing. Uh, how do I withdraw money and how do I transfer the funds into my account? We'll be enabling withdrawals from Coinbase Commerce soon. In the meantime, you can use third-party wallets such as Jax to move your funds by importing the 12-word recovery seed. Uh, you can learn more about withdrawing funds. So th this part kind of confuses me a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to have to use a seed to recover in another wallet or if we'll be able to, like, for example, send money from our Coinbase Commerce wallet over to our Trezor or our Coinbase account. How do I get the cryptocurrency in my Coinbase account? Uh, you can use a third-party wallet, okay. Our customers' payments done off-chain. No customers' payments are done on-chain. I thought they had a demo. Let's see if we can take a look at the demo here. Jim Belushi, Jim Belushi at yahoo.com. Select a currency. Okay, we'll say Bitcoin. Okay, so I guess this is what it looks like from the uh, from the customer end. Um, yeah, anyhow, it, it looks interesting. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a chance to connect this to my own stores yet. Um, me and my business partner do have one store that I, I may play around with it today. So if I do that, I'll kind of let you guys know what the back end looks like and everything. Uh, but yeah, really, really kind of interesting. This is something that's been needed for a while, right? Like I've thought about starting new businesses or even accepting cryptocurrency in my old business. And one thing that always seemed kind of really confusing from a logic stand or logistical standpoint is, okay, you know, I, I, I could set up uh, Shopify, uh, a custom, like right now I accept cashier's checks and money orders through my Shopify store. And so I just set up a, a custom payment option for that. And it's fine, right? Because a, a cashier's check or a money order comes in. I match it up to that order, market is paid and ship out the order. With cryptocurrency, I was trying to figure out like logistically, I give somebody a wallet address to send into but because cryptocurrencies are pseudo anonymous, I would need somebody to like follow up and email me back and say, hey, I sent you the money. You know, it was either from wallet, blah, 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 or here's the transaction ID. Um, and, and I just thought that would be kind of a lot of legwork, like tracking down and connecting, especially if your store starts doing volume, connecting each purchase with the transaction and confirming that they actually came through. And that's what Coinbase Commerce looks to do. So if any of you guys have tried this out already, if any of you guys have gotten any payments into it, if any of you guys have connected this to your Shopify store, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how it, how it went, what you thought about it. Um, and yeah, if any of you guys have been looking to accept cryptocurrency but haven't really seen a great option out there, uh, you know, definitely check out Coinbase Commerce. It looks very interesting. So uh, thanks for watching the video. If you, guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.